what's up y'all it's your girl erica come back to you with a weight loss update so my last video i was talking about losing 60 pounds in three months and so far i'm 12 pounds down yes 12 pounds and i started my journey 12 days ago and my first couple of days all i did was really slow down on fast food because i was tearing it up so I'm like, Shit, I got you know it's pretty much weaning yourself off so my withdrawal symptoms won't be as bad because i started a catatonic diet and what that is, it's just like a low carb, high fat, high protein, not too, but the fat is the highest thing you're supposed to have. Like it's like the, with the macros, it's like 75% fat, 15, like, or like 50% fat, certain, I have to put it in for you to exact measurements, but for the first couple of days, I just weed myself off fast food and I start cooking my own food. You know, it's just to ease up on all the grease and fat of just being addicted to fast food. And it helped me go through it smoothly instead of me having withdrawal symptoms. Because if you don't, then you just feel like you're going through it. Like you have literally withdrawal the shakes, headaches, and everything. So once I did that, you know, I did that for a few days. You know, I started the diet. And once it started, it just went so good. It was so easy. All you pretty much do is remove it all breads and pastas and all carbs in your life and you pretty much can't eat everything else and once I did that from seven days out that's when I started weighing myself that I actually seen a change it was started at seven days in from seven days to now I lost 12 pounds so it's crazy because something so simple like I did the green smoothie and it's more of a restricted diet. You can't really eat this, that. Pretty much just have a smoothies and everything. Which is still very effective. And I'm going to do that too further along. But with this one, it's very simple. I can see me doing this on my off time for when I'm doing a green smoothie cleanse. Because it's something so easy and easy to manage for everybody to do. You pretty much just remove the carbs. And once you remove bread and pasta, that's the main thing. So once you do that, it's pretty much straightforward. So I started doing that. My meal plan for mainly is I have eggs during the day. I mean, for breakfast, I have eggs. I have a coffee with, with cream, no sugar. And I have bacon, three strips of bacon. And for lunch, I either have like a salad with some a grilled burger or, you know, some fish or something like that. And then for dinner, pretty much the same thing. I just go in between. But it's pretty much just one of the easiest things I've started so far. And like the ketonic diet, the ketonic diet, once you do it, you know, it's so smooth. Like it's not even hard. Like you pretty much have to take a urine test to know that you're in a ketonic state. This is the fact, that's the state when your body is burning the most fat. And you can get those from Walmart, CVS. And once you do that, you urine test to see which level you are in. And the higher you are, the more you burn. But it's pretty straightforward. And so far, I'm 12 pounds down. So, for you who's following the journey, let me know if you want any more details about the diet I'm doing, the ketonic diet, because i gladly let you know. So, until next time, this is my first update. 12 pounds down. And I've set many goals for myself. Every 20 pounds I lose, I'm going to take a mini vacation before Vegas. So, when I lose 20, I'm going to go somewhere. So, every time you see me somewhere, I'll let you know I lost 20 pounds. So, welcome back to the channel just follow me on my journey we can help each other out you know this is it's hard it ain't easy it's never easy you know i mean how many times i lost 100 pounds a couple of times so then i tell people it ain't nothing to lose it it's just maintaining it and being faithful to yourself because the way the difference is it's, it's a big difference and i miss myself that i was so i'm trying to get back to my happy place so keep following my journey and i'll talk to you later